Hello future doctors welcome to the painism i am dr dipen shah and today we are going to discuss about coagulation now coagulation or clotting is the process of conversion of liquid blood into semi solid jelly and that takes mainly 2 to 8 minutes the coagulation mechanism is activated mainly because of the trauma or damage to the blood vessel whenever there is trauma there is bleeding and that is known as hemorrhage and hemostatic mechanisms are required to be activated hemostasis means hemo that is blood and stasis means stoppage and that hemostatic mechanism is mainly coagulation now at the site of injury or trauma to the blood vessel there is aggregation of platelets and that platelet plug can stop a minor injury but whenever the injury is quite major then the entire clotting cascade or clotting pathway is activated wherein the platelets secrete clotting factor number 3 that is known as tissue factor or it is also known as thromboplastin this thromboplastin activates a particular complex which is known as prothrombinase The prothrombinase is actually a complex protein composed of clotting factor number ten and clotting factor number five. This prothrombinase mainly helps in conversion of an inactive plasma protein, which is known as prothrombin, and that is converted into thrombin. So thrombin is the activated form. This conversion also requires a very important mineral that is known as calcium ions. the activated thrombin that is formed that helps in conversion of soluble plasma protein known as fibrinogen that soluble fibrinogen is converted into insoluble polymers known as fibrin this fibrin at the site of injury is going to form a meshwork and this meshwork helps in enmeshing the blood cells the rbcs and the plasma and that stops the bleeding This fibrin meshwork is mainly stabilized by clotting factor number thirteen, which is known as fibrin stabilizing factor. So this is the entire discussion about the coagulation mechanism. But remember, future doctors, this actually discussion is about a common pathway, whereas the clotting mechanism has two pathways, that is extrinsic and intrinsic, which together then unites to form this common pathway. Now. this was described by macfarlane and his co-workers there are certain patients in which there is deficiency of certain clotting factors and that results in bleeding disorders or bleeding tendencies one of the disorder i have discussed in one of my videos that is about hemophilia where clotting factor number 8 when it is deficient it results in hemophilia a and clotting factor 9 whenever it is deficient it results in hemophilia b So remember, for your NEET exam, the clotting factor number eight is known as anti-hemophilic factor, and clotting factor number nine is known as the Christmas factor. Now, this disorder was also uh, discovered in the royal family of Queen Victoria, and it shows a X linkage. So this we have discussed in detail about the coagulation mechanism. That's all from the painism.